Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the ViewSonic XG2401 24 inch monitor. Now this my friends is a gaming monitor and it was provided by PLE for review to myself and I'm really really excited. Now you might have seen my unboxing video of this which was a long time ago so it took me a while to get around to reviewing it. But that's because I kept using it so often and so much that I really just felt it became part of what I needed to game or to really work on. And that's what I'm going to talk about here today because I can babble on about how this is just a 1080p monitor. It's, you know, it's small, 24 inch, and it's nothing special. But that is exactly what makes it special. And it's exactly why it will probably get picked up more often by buyers and shoppers these holidays and in the new year because of its actually quite attractive price to performance. So this monitor goes for 399 at PLE right now and it boasts 144Hz refresh rate, 1ms uh, input lag and it is well 24 inches and it is quite cool looking, a little bit of red trim, black matte plastic and the color production is actually pretty nice. Not something like an IPS monitor but it is pretty good for what it is and it comes with free sync. So guys if you have an AMD card this is really the monitor you should really be getting because at 144 hertz 24 inches you're not going to need a very powerful AMD card and until the new AMD cards come out this year as in 2017 so next year maybe recording this just a about a couple of days before the new year then you will be able to use you know bigger better monitors but for now if you have an AMD and are on a budget but want to experience 144 hertz monitor refresh rate this is it guys so what is it like to use well it is um, well, it's a monitor, you can't really go wrong, but I felt that at 24 inches, it is just right. Like, you go to 27 inches and it's quite large, but at 1080p 27 inches, it does not look very good. So for 1080p, 24 is perfect. You don't see that pixelation like you would with a 27 or even the 32 inch 1080p monitor, and there used to be some like that. So I think this is a sweet spot. And 144 hertz, guys, you cannot go wrong with high refresh rate. Absolutely love it. Beautiful movement, fluid and snappy. And that's the other thing that I really realized. For a gaming machine like this one, this is my wife's, at 1080p, 144 hertz, it's really easy to push for the GTX 760 inside there. So this monitor fits really well. And compared to the PG287Q over there, um, 27.8Q, it's, well, you know, it's almost 2K, 144Hz, and it is G-Sync. It just has all sorts of things that really make this computer burn out when using that monitor. So you can see it behind me, it's just sitting there, not being used. So I used it for a while as, a, as my own monitor, then I moved back to my widescreen because of productivity, and that's what it lacks in. You can't really be productive on a smaller monitor. Um, it is really for gaming, and it's stuck to the second gaming computer over here. So what I did, I said, I'll play gaming on it, I'll, I'll game on it, and I played a lot of games that I found to run extremely well at the high refresh rates and not really struggle with the low-end gear over here. Now, I also asked the one person who doesn't really have that much experience in technology, said, my wife, she plays games with me and um, plays the sorts of other little games, nothing too big, and I said, which monitor do you prefer, the 27 inch over there that's 2K or the one over here that's 1080p 24 inch and she actually said this one and I just thought to myself, how is this possible and I try to go in a little bit deeper why she prefer this one and to be honest, I kind of prefer it too. The other one's just a bit too much and for low end gear, if I was gaming on my big machine, it'd be the other monitor but this one. It becomes that budget monitor for a budget build that gets the best out of everything. Now she said she found that the mouse uh, flew around better on the monitor and you know as much as I could come out and say all the technical things about how your DPI should 
you know, match what you think the speed would be on the monitor. The smaller monitor and a smaller mouse speed really meant she was able to reach everything without struggling or the mouse being too fast. Um, and also she said that the smaller monitor is just a, a bit better to look at. You don't have to move your head around so much. And you know what? I had that thought too when I got the widescreen. Now I got used to it very quickly because I do prefer the more space for working, but she's quite right. You're sitting there, you don't have to move your head around as much and it's all there in front of you and your vision. With, with the widescreen, you kind of have to sort of move your head around a little bit and she picked up on it, I didn't, and that's quite impressive. So I guess in conclusion, this is a $400 monitor that if you have some pennies squared away and you still on a budget with your gaming rig and you're not upgrading that to a, you know, a 1070 or a 980 even, this is a perfect monitor for your gaming rig if you want to hit those 144 hertz refresh rate and still have that nice 1080p quality that you just can't really get on consoles or anything else. And guys, the games looked very beautiful on it and I think the price and the performance is really what sells this. But I have to point out that people who have a high-end computer will not be buying this. It is for a specific market range and I believe they've really hit it quite well with the price to performance. And I keep repeating that, but I think this is the selling point of this monitor. So, I liked it and I liked it so much that actually I'm going to give it away um, on a giveaway coming up in the new year. I'm going to post a video about how you can get this monitor and how you can win it. And because it's not as big as the chair, um, I might be able to send that to the peop anybody in Australia, not just Perth, like the big chair that I'm also going to be giving away. The blue one you might have seen a review and an unboxing of. Those two things are going to be getting given away in the new year as a you know competition or whichever. I'm really excited about it. Um, but hopefully the chair will be just Perth and this monitor I'll be able to send it to Australia. Uh, the chair comes in a big box. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this review. Um, look, I'm pretty happy about it. Again, it's on a budget build gaming monitor. But it is very nice, and I actually have to point out that the quality of the build is really, really good. For matte plastic, that's something a lot of people ask for, and we end up getting crappy, glossy stuff that gets fingerprints everywhere. But, thank you very much for watching. To see more, subscribe, uh, comment below what you think of this monitor, and let me know if you would love to win the chair or the monitor, and I'll see if I can get that done as early as possible in the new year. Stay tuned for more videos, more reviews. There is so much happening and uh, I guess um, you might not have seen many videos pop up on my channel recently. It's because the holidays were in and family and Christmases and it's all very busy. But thank you very much for sticking around and I'll have lots of more stuff for you in the coming year, which is literally a couple days away, five days away or so. So happy new year, merry Christmas for before and I'll catch you then. See you guys.